Hello and welcome to Grassroots Crypto. In this video, I'm going to quickly be showing the Asgard X uh, interface, doing a bit of demo, showing the old one, showing the new one that's not even for public release. I've got it running on my computer. We'll have a bit of a play around, have a look at that and see how that compares to the current BEPSWAP interface. So here we have the current interface. If anyone's been testing this, this is where you can uh, swap and you're swapping uh, native rune here. So I've got some uh, native rune assets, I've got a bit of BNB, um, that type of thing. And I, can, I can swap it with, uh, with rune and I can swap it with BDC. And this is the real cool thing about uh, multi-chain is you're gonna be able to swap rune or any other asset with, uh, with a real native asset. Yeah, so this, this works pretty well. If I do, I've got about 48 runes, so I'm gonna do 40 here uh, and go swap. I can confirm that swap and then that would be seen as a transaction. And that'll show me, uh, my, should show me that swap that I've done there. So I've done a little couple of swaps there. So that's pretty cool. This interface is not really what's gonna be, from my understanding, used within uh, the actual public multi-chain uh, release. This is more like a really good test bed for, for the back end. Uh, all that no type of um, operations that need to happen. So I wanted to quickly sh also show off uh, this one, which looks like it might go for uh, public release. It's been testing now, and I've managed to download that and get that building on my machine. So this is what it looks like. It's very uh, BEP swap-ish, very limited amount of pools here, uh, just because there's a lot of work going on in the background to get uh, more and more pools added. So a little on how this one works uh, compared to best BEP swap. So it's got the pools and that type of information. You can add liquidity, you can um, swap and that type of thing. The first thing you want to do is, is get a wallet. So you can go create a wallet and this is going to give you the actual, actual like a 12, it's a 12 word um, seed phrase. And then you, you create a password. Obviously your passwords need to match part of, the, uh, part of the testing. And then you'd need to put this back in the relevant order. Um, and that's how you can create a new, uh, you'll be able to like a new wallet for, for multi-chain. And then that would have the different, uh, address types and stuff that you know, for native rune and BNB and, and everything else. So I've already created one. So I'm just going to go ahead to the settings and import an existing one. Right. So I've done that one. Um, I don't have Bitcoin lined up. That's a long story. I need, I need a block share. But you can see I've already got some assets here and this is how you can see what assets you've got. And what's a really cool thing is I had sent uh, previously some, some rune, this is some test rune that I have here, to the address um, and it shows me the address here. So you know, this is my Binance chain address and then I'm able to upgrade to native rune. So I have like 40 rune or whatever and this allows you to upgrade to um, native rune which is really, really cool. You gotta enter your password. And this is the process you would do to move from um, BEP2 Rune through to um, native Rune running on the 4chan blockchain. Cool, so that was successful and you can view the transaction here. Um, and then when we get to pools, so go back to pools, your available pools, pending pools, which are not there. So this is the similar type thing. You can add liquidity, uh, very, very much the same thing for, for BEP swap. Um, withdrawal happens the same way and to do swaps so i might uh i might do a swap of I've got 10 rune here or something like this um so you can do a swap here for a certain amount of um, bdc other way drag and swap obviously you your password again which is just like currently in bet swap and as you can see very bet swappy type of um view so all very familiar not not much of a learning curve Just need to wait till that finishes and then you can still view the transaction which is pretty cool so that gives me if i go over back to my settings well actually that's day night sorry that's the day night go back to my settings these are my addresses this is a bit of management here i can do this and to get to my uh wallet to understand my wallet here i'll do this and this will show me um my, my assets so a bit different to the drawer that's on the right hand side in bep swap um, where you pull it out from the right hand side it shows you um, but you're still able to see your assets here um, and do this do this type of thing so let's just see if i can uh, put my rune and bnb that i have inside of the liquidity pool 
I'm going to go back to pools. Still learning this one. I'll add liquidity. And then I want to actually go back. Add liquidity. <laughs> do it in the right one. And then just I'm going to add the smallest amount. So maybe like that for something. I like that you still got the, the actual Rune transaction, BNB transaction, because this is on different blockchains. So this, is, this is really cool. Um, and then if I ref, no, go back, there's a refresh button somewhere. Uh, go back to liquidity and it doesn't show me my share yet. So here it shows me your full share, uh, which is which is nice. So you can actually see um, for node operators, you can even put a node in here and have a look what's going on there. That's really cool. Um, if we go back to the BNB pool, you can't click on it, like manage, like in BetSwap yet, uh, but you can go to add liquidity and it should show me um, my values here. Right, so that was just a very sneak peek. Uh, this is not publicly available, it's not hosted anywhere. Uh, this is currently run by me uh, on, on my machine locally. So um, just I just wanted to have a sneak peek. This will probably be released quite soon once all the uh, once all the relevant testing on the interface is done, um, as well as all the backend stuff is all sorted. Then we'll probably see this uh, hosted somewhere that you can go see through a URL, and um, then there'll be more and more testing in the uh, multi-chain testnet phase. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that you got something out of it. Hope that uh, you're a bit more excited, like like I am, on seeing this interface. Um, and seeing multi-chain uh, uh, come to fruition. If you like this video, um, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and um, until next time, bye.